Welcome in. Mike Griffith and Mike, uh, I know this does not come as a, as a shock to those in Athens, it, 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 although the rest of the, the sports world uh, is, is, in, is in absolute uh, disarray at this moment, just learning of this. But uh, tell us about Coach Dooley and the man that you certainly have known for some time. Yeah, you know, Coach Dooley is an absolute treasure, certainly. When you think about the University of Georgia and the, the class and the image that it's presented, you, you think about Vince Dooley, synonymous, right? I, I think Coach Dooley really set that mold for Georgia. That's why so many Georgia fans are so proud of Coach Dooley and stayed involved, Paul. I mean, you, you'd look into Kirby Smart press conferences, and I'd be sitting there on my computer, and there'd be, there'd be Vince Dooley one row back watching Kirby Smart, met with him before the national championship game. I mean, Coach Dooley had a present. He's intertwined with the University of Georgia. It was so great to see the field named in his honor. There's one notable trophy, or excuse me, one notable statue on the campus of Georgia. It's Vince Dooley. So when we think about what Georgia is, who Georgia is, what it's all about, the image of the university, the class and the dignity that Vince Dooley brought uh, for decades to the school, and really a man ahead of his time. I want to share a quick story. We were talking about different revenue models, right? Everybody wants to know how schools can make more money. How can you make your television contract worth more? And Coach Dooley pulled me aside one day and said, I had an idea, <laughs> but nobody wanted to listen then. He said, how about in the spring, instead of an inter-squad scrimmage, if we play another school? How about if a couple of teams play their inter-squad scrimmage, split the squad, Maybe send one Georgia team to Oregon and one Oregon team to Georgia. But think about the interest that that would bring to college football every spring, what the coaches could get out of it, and the benefit. So, you know, again, I think this is a man who was ahead of his time, certainly brought a lot to Georgia. Uh, but that stuck with me. I said, man, the, the innovation is key with Coach Dooley. Yeah, he, he just had such a way about him. And, uh, again, I realize some of you may be just uh, popping on the TV or getting in your car, but uh, we learned uh, just about 18 minutes ago that, that Vince Stewie had, had passed away, 90 years old. He was, he was born in Mobile, Alabama, went to Auburn, where uh, you know, he played for legendary uh, coach Chick Jordan. And then, uh, as, as has often been the case, just uh, access between Auburn and, and Georgia, he ends up going over there. Uh, and Pat died ends up a uh, Georgia man ends up going to Auburn and when when they when they would meet in the in the 80s it was just uh, it was unbelievable to think uh, of the connection and of course